Thank you for purchasing the SPM100 and for taking the time to view this training video. The SPM100 Static Pressure Meter is a smartphone-based manometer that takes a series of pressure tests to aid in the diagnostics of HVAC systems. This video is intended to help you understand the overall operation of the Static Pressure Meter. For more details and product specifications, please visit our website at www.aabsmart.com. The SPM100 includes several tests with on-screen guidance that is designed to help all levels of HVAC professionals take accurate measurements and identify any potential issues. The SPM100 uses Bluetooth Smart Technology, also known as Bluetooth 4.1 and Bluetooth LE or Low Energy, to connect to Apple and Android smartphones and tablets. Please visit our website to see if your device is Bluetooth Smart compatible. Bluetooth Smart was first adopted in 2010 and is the standard on devices manufactured after mid-2013. We chose this technology because it connects much faster and is easier and consumes a fraction of the energy of classic Bluetooth technology. First, download our free SPM100 app from iTunes or Google Play. You can also find links to the download on our website at www.aabsmart.com. When you first open the SPM100, Use a quarter to open the battery compartment and place the included battery in the compartment with the plus sign facing up. Then close the battery compartment. The SPM100 uses a CR2450 coin cell battery that is very common and readily available at most drugstores. With normal use, you should get over 500 hours of battery life. Before you begin to use the SPM100, we recommend that you customize the device settings. You can enter the settings screen with or without the meter being connected by clicking on the green menu button in the top left corner of the app screen. Once you hit the menu button, you'll see an option for settings. This is where you can enter your company name and your email address. We are also adding a feature that will allow you to include your company logo on the reports that you export from the app. Below that, you can choose whether to display the measurements in standard or metric measurements and choose from several different unit types. The menu button also takes you to the history report. We will show you how to edit and send reports later in this video. To connect the SPM100 to your smartphone or tablet, first press the power button on the right side of the SPM100. A blue light will begin flashing on the front of the unit, indicating that the unit is ready to pair with your smartphone or tablet. The unit will continue flashing for 30 seconds or until paired. Now, open the SPM100 application on your smartphone or tablet. The first time and only the first time you connect the SPM100 to a new device, you will need to hit the connect button in the top right corner of the screen on the application. Under devices found, you should see the SPM100. Click on the device and it will connect automatically. If you don't see any devices listed, Make sure the Bluetooth on your smartphone or tablet is turned on and that it is Bluetooth Smart compatible. Once a smartphone or tablet is connected to the SPM100, the blue light will stop flashing. If you close the SPM100 app or lose connection, the blue light will begin flashing again for 30 seconds. Now that you are connected, you will first want to calibrate the meter each time before taking readings. To calibrate the meter, remove both caps on the meter or keep the probes, if attached, in an open space and hit the blue Calibrate Meter button. The calibration only takes three seconds and then you are ready to start taking measurements. Begin by hitting the green Take a Reading button. You then have the option to name the area being tested. There are five tests to choose from including Static Pressure, Pressure Differential, Total External Static Pressure, Indoor versus Outdoor Pressure, and Weather Data. To take a measurement of the static pressure in a duct, Choose the test titled Static Pressure and then follow these steps. Step 1. Locate the appropriate place to drill the test hole in the duct. Disconnect power before drilling into any powered equipment and be careful to avoid any coils, capillary tubes, condensate pans, or circuit boards to avoid damage. Always look before you drill and follow codes regarding safety procedures. Step 2. Drill the test hole using a 3 8 inch drill bit designed for drilling into metal. Make sure to use a depth gauge if there are obstructions in the area being drilled. If there is an interior duct liner or a secondary wall, be sure to penetrate it to assure a good reading. Step 3. 
push the blue probe into the duct until the magnetic base is flush against the duct surface with the arrow of the base pointing directly into the airstream as shown in the on-screen guidance on the app. Step 4. Press the green start button to begin the test. The magnet on the probe will hold it in place on metal surfaces while the value is read and recorded. If the surface is not metallic, it will be necessary to hold the probe in place manually. Step 5. Let the test run until a stable reading is displayed and then press the red stop button. If you are satisfied with the test, hit the green save button. Otherwise, hit the red delete button to retake the test. Insert hole plugs in the test holes or patch the holes as required by code when you're done testing. This test helps to identify if a filter or coil is clogged and in need of cleaning or replacement. To take a measurement of the pressure differential across a coil, filter, or transition, choose the test titled Pressure Differential, then follow these steps. Step 1. Locate the appropriate places to drill the test holes on each side of the coil, filter, or transition. Disconnect power before drilling into any powered equipment and be careful to avoid any coils, capillary tubes, condensate pans, or circuit boards to avoid damage. Always look before you drill and follow codes regarding safety procedures. Step 2. Drill test holes using a 3 8 inch drill bit designed for drilling into metal. Make sure to use a depth gauge if there are obstructions in the area being drilled. If there's duct liner inside or a secondary wall, be sure to penetrate it to assure a good reading. Step 3. Place the red probe into the duct before the coil, filter, or transition until the magnetic base is flush against the duct surface with the arrow of the base pointing directly into the airstream. Then, place the blue probe after, as shown in the on-screen guidance on the app. Step 4. Press the green start button to begin the test. The magnet on the probe will hold it in place on metal surfaces while the value is read and recorded. If the surface is not metallic, it will be necessary to hold the probe in place manually. Step 5. Let the test run until a stable reading is displayed and then press the red stop button. If you are satisfied with the test, hit the green save button. Otherwise, hit the red delete button to retake the test. Insert hole plugs in the test holes or patch the holes as required by code when you're done testing. This test helps to identify the overall performance of a system and can be used to calculate the airflow of a system by comparing this pressure reading to the air handler manufacturer specifications. To take the measurement, choose a test titled Total External Static Pressure Test, then follow these steps. Step 1. Locate the appropriate places to drill the test holes before and after the system blower. Please refer to the manufacturer's specification to see if the coil or heat strips, if applicable, should be included in the test. Most manufacturers recommend taking this test without the coil or heat strips between the two probes. Disconnect power before drilling into any powered equipment and be careful to avoid any coils, capillary tubes, condensate pans, or circuit boards to avoid damage. Always look before you drill and follow codes regarding safety procedures. Step 2. Drill test holes using a 3 8 inch drill bit designed for drilling into metal. Make sure to use a depth gauge if there are obstructions in the area being drilled. If there's duct liner inside or a secondary wall, be sure to penetrate it to assure a good reading. Step 3. Place the red probe into the cabinet or duct before the blower until the magnetic base is flush against the surface with the arrow of the base pointing directly into the airstream. Next. Place the blue probe after the blower facing into the airstream as shown in the on-screen guidance on the app. Step 4. Press the green start button to begin the test. The magnet on the probe will hold it in place on metal surfaces while the value is read and recorded. If the surface is not metallic, it will be necessary to hold the probe in place manually. Step 5. Let the test run until a stable reading is displayed and then press the red stop button. If you are satisfied with the test, hit the green save button. Otherwise, hit the red delete button to retake the test. Insert hole plugs in the test holes or patch the holes as required by code when you're done testing. When you read the static pressure in the system, you gain great insight into its performance. If the static pressure is too high, it indicates issues with the system, 
such as undersized, clogged, or blocked ductwork, clogged filters, closed dampers, or grills, kinked or collapsed flexible duct, among many other issues. These issues can greatly reduce the efficiency of otherwise highly efficient equipment. Low static pressure may be an indication of ductwork that has major leaks or has come apart, or a blower that is not functioning properly. If these airflow issues exist, it is necessary to repair the issues in order to stop wasting energy. Proper airflow movement through the ducts is just as important as the equipment itself. In regards to comfort and energy savings, putting expensive high efficiency equipment in a home with airflow issues and expecting significant energy savings is like putting new tires on a car with engine problems and expecting it to run better. This test helps to identify the pressurization of a house or building. If a house is in a severe negative pressure, it will draw contaminants in from the attic and attached garages. It will also cause additional unconditioned air to infiltrate from outdoors, under and around doors and window openings. Up to 60% of the volatile organic compounds or VOC contaminants in a home come from attached garages. This can be prevented by putting a fan in the garage that moves the VOCs outdoors. To take an indoor versus outdoor pressure measurement, choose the test titled Indoor versus Outdoor Pressure. Then follow these steps. Step 1. It is not necessary to calibrate the meter before taking an indoor versus outdoor test because the measurement is going to show the total atmospheric pressure for both readings and then calculate the difference. Step 2. Remove the blue cap or use the blue probe to take the reading and press the green button that says Start Inside Test. Let the test run until a stable reading is displayed and then press the red Stop button. Step 3. Press the green button that says Start Outside Test. Let the test run until a stable reading is displayed and then press the red Stop button. If you are satisfied with the test, hit the green Save button. Otherwise, hit the red Delete button to retake the test. The SPM100 app utilizes the GPS location of the phone to automatically import weather data from the closest weather station. We cannot confirm the accuracy of the local weather stations, but provide the information automatically to help compare the local atmospheric pressure, temperature, and humidity level. To get to the history report, hit the green menu button on the home screen. Once you are on the history screen, you can edit the history by choosing the edit function in the top right of the history screen, or you can expand any of the stored readings by clicking on them to see more data. To send the history report, hit export to email in the bottom left corner. Once you are on the email message screen, you have the option of updating the email address to send reports directly to customers, or you can leave your default address that you entered in the settings screen. You can also enter multiple addresses to send reports to. We recommend entering the project or customer name under subject. We suggest sending the report at the end of each job and then pressing delete all at the beginning of the next job to keep your reports separated and job specific. Thank you for taking the time to view this training video. When using the SPM100, please be sure to follow all required safety codes and procedures. If you have any further questions or need assistance, please visit our website or contact us at www.aabsmart.com.